Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique and we've got something very special for you. Today we're going to be checking out Tune Tracks new Superior Drummer 3 and it is incredible. It allows anyone to get professional studio level drum recordings inside of anywhere. For example, your living room like where I am now. The plugin is awesome, it's incredible, everything was recorded by one of the most sought after sound engineers in the world, Grammy winner George Massenberg. He invented the parametric EQ, so before we even get started, you can imagine how incredible these sounds are going to be. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a basic overview, and then we're going to go a little bit more in depth into each of the four main panels. The drums, the grooves, the mixer, and then the tracker, which is really special. But before we do that, let me throw some numbers at you. 230 gigabytes of samples. Yes, 230 gigabytes of samples. We've got six professionally arranged drum kits with 14 configurations, 16 kicks, 25 snares, 32 cymbals, 35 exclusive awesome effects for the plugin itself, over 1,500 professionally arranged MIDI clips, there's stereo, 5.1, 7.1, and even 11.1 surround sound capabilities. Now this thing is a beast. They're gonna be full college level courses dedicated to it, but that doesn't mean we can't get in and get started right now. So let's go ahead and start checking out Superior Drummer 3. Okay, so here we are checking out the drums panel. And before we get into the drums themselves, I just want to make a couple of quick notes about some other things to know about before jumping in. First, the download is huge, but ToonTrack have a downloader app that makes things really easy. And you don't even need to download the full 230 gigabytes to get in and get started. I believe just the EXE and the first 50 gigabytes, get that on your computer, install it, and you'll be able to jump right in and start getting yourself acquainted. And some of the other really cool things is the ability to manipulate the GUI. It's a fluid GUI, meaning it will be as small or as big as you want it to be. It fits any screen size. And you can also undock any of these four main panels. So here I have the drums, the grooves, the mixer, and the tracker. But let's say I want to see the grooves and the mixer at the same time. I can just click this fly out button and I will have the grooves window right here. And if I want to do the same thing for the mixer, I got it right here. Obviously, it's a little bit big right now, but again, it's fluid so I can resize it and everything will be hunky dory. So here we have the mixer and the grooves panel available to me at the same time instead of having to click through the tabs. And this is really useful, especially if you have two or three monitors and you want to be utilizing everything at the same time. Really great look for ToonTrack to have that option available. What I suggest if you're just getting started is to use the core library drum kit presets. And to do that, you're just going to have the Superior Drummer 3 library selected. Though if you had Superior Drummer 2, you'll have that option there as well. And then you just come into the second menu and choose any one of the kit presets you have. I've just got this one right here selected, but if I wanted to change it, easy enough. Not only will it change, but we'll get a graphic visual representation that's different than the one I had before. So those presets are for the full kit, but if I want to come in and change just any one of the drums, all I have to do is click to select it. That's a pretty nasty little kick right there. But let's say I didn't like it, I could come in, right click, and just choose something else. And a lot of that grit is coming from the effects, so you don't really need to worry about that. But while we're here, I want to draw your attention to the stack. So the stack is the ability to add more than one drum sample to any one MIDI note. So the kick MIDI note right now is triggering these two drum samples. All right. So let's say I didn't want that grimy one right there. I could right click and remove from stack. And now I just got this one bigger kick drum without the stack there. And let's say I want to stack this floor tom here. I'm just going to right click, come into the more option and add to. And now we have the different articulations for that floor tom in particular. And let's say I want to add a stack to just the center articulation, click center, come in and find whatever I want. And I can add any type of drum there. Let's just say I'm going to add a rack tom to it. Go ahead and stack on center. And now you'll see that I have my stack menu right here. 
and I can audition them independently or I can click right there to get them both together. And it's easy enough to come into here with the manipulation windows and change like the level balance or the envelopes for each one of the drums independently if we wanted to do that. Super easy to do. So essentially you want to look at the drums panel as where you're going to set up your drum kit, which you would do in real life, right? You would make sure your drum kit is as it's supposed to be before you get in and start making your grooves and mixing your tracks down. One other really cool thing about Superior Drummer 3 is the macro control. So if I come over here and click the macro control button, you'll see that I've got some macros that are already assigned and that has to do with the preset I was using up here, the distorted children preset. So if we look at the toms distortion, as I turn this macro knob, the distortion amount for the toms is actually going to be increased for all three of the toms at the same time, hence the name macro, meaning larger control. So this one knob is going to control the distortion amount for the three toms. This macro is going to control the distortion amount for the kick and the snare. And this is going to do some envelope manipulation for the envelopes. Now, if we wanted to add our own macro control, it's easy enough. Let's come into, say, this floor tom right here. Click it to select it, and now all of these manipulation controllers are going to be applied to this drum. Let's say I want to apply a macro control to the release of the entire drum kit. What I would do is just control click all of them. Okay, and then right click the envelope release time bind to macro one through 10, and we're gonna go to macro four. So now all of the release times for all of these drums are gonna be adjusted just using this one macro, which is really, really great. So there we go. All of the drums now have a really short release time, and now they're all gonna have a really long release time. So the sky's really the limit there with the macro controls, how many parameters you wanna map. Pretty much all the parameters that are adjustable can be mapped to the macro knobs and you get up to 100 macro knobs. So there's no reason any person would need more than 100 macro controls, right? So as I'll probably say after each one of these panels, I really rushed through this. There's way too much to cover in a short video and I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what's possible in each one of these. My goal here is just to get you kind of acquainted so you can get in and get started once you get your hands on superior drama three.